This is episode 38 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. Today is covering a topic that I have not been asked about yet, so I'm excited to to go through this with you guys. And the question is, how do I become successful in school? So how... I looked at it, I, instead of answering this question for this individual who is college age, I thought I would answer it because I think the same thing kind of applies to everybody, any age, kindergarten, college, grad student, doctor, whatever. It doesn't matter. The way to be successful through school and after school, not after school, like in the afternoon, I mean like when you're done with school, just to clarify, the way to be successful in school and after school, is to act like you never went. That doesn't make sense. I know. It sounds a little counterintuitive, but I swear that's how you should treat it. So what happens, this is what this is what I think happens to most people, is you get into a situation where you are looking at school and people view school almost like a savior. They go, because all growing up from preschool to kindergarten, fifth grade, seventh grade, high school, college. It's the goal is college. You need education. Education is what you need. As if it's like that's the key to success. And it's not. It's really just like a little piece of success. And to be honest, it's really only a piece of success because people say it should be a piece of success. The way to approach it, no matter how old you are, you could be 14 listening to this, you could be in college listening to this, is Treat every second outside of school as if you either did not go to school at all or you're not going to school at all. And how would you approach your goals without school? Think about that, really. Because I think so many people look at school as their strategy for reaching their goals. And that's stupid. Sorry to offend you, but it's dumb. For those of you that have already graduated... How many of you guys were sitting there in your cap and gowns, everybody's taking pictures and smiling, and you went, holy crap, what the hell am I going to do now? You know what a whole bunch of people do? They move back home, take whatever first job they can get, or which is generally a job that they could probably have gotten without the degree, probably could have gotten it just graduating from high school. People are lost after they graduate, and people have a real, it's almost like they, it's almost like a starting over. Hey, you got a degree, now it's time to start over. My strategy is to act like if you if you act like you never went to school or you aren't going to school, and obviously the earlier you start this, the better, but you can also act as if you didn't go to school if you're old like me in your 30s. So if you act like you didn't go to school, how would you try to reach your goals? What would you do? You would research. You would meet with people. You would ask questions. You would interview. You would study. You would go online. You would spend your extra time learning how to do that as opposed to waiting for school to tell you you can do it because school's not really going to tell you you can do it. The school just gives you a piece of paper. Let's say you want to be an architect. How old are you? 14, 17, 20, 25, whatever. You want to be an architect. So what you do, start small and then build up because it's going to be the more questions you ask, the more you're going to know, the better questions you're going to ask, the better information you're going to get, blah, blah, yada, yada, all that stuff. So go out and find 10 architects that are within driving distance from your house or walking distance, depending on how old you are. Ask them for a half hour of their time. If you're a student, this is even better. Tell them you want to interview them because you kind of want to interview them. Tell them you're from a newspaper. Who cares? Just get in the door and ask questions. Ask about what was it like to start out? Where did you go to school? Where did you, what was the biggest thing you've learned outside of school? Could you have done this without school? Questions like that. And just, you know, like little questions about what you can do to do that profession. And if you pick out 10 
let's we're dealing with architects. Let's say if you pick out 10 architects to sit down and talk to, I promise you by number 10, you are going to have such a clear vision of, of not only what you need to do, but what you should do, what you can do. And even better is after that 10, you may realize you don't even want to do that anymore. Like it sounds like it sucks. Now you know. You wouldn't have known that just going to school. You wouldn't have known that by sitting in class and learning the history of this and the history of that. And and I'm not trying to take away anything from school. Okay? I did the whole I did school. I did a lot of school. I did master's programs. I did undergrad, all that crap. My wife's master's program. She wants to get into a doctoral program. It's just it's the detriment comes when you look at school as your savior. And you look at a specific school and that, oh, I got to go to this school in order to do this. Keep this in mind. Nobody would give a shit about Harvard if their graduates didn't go out and do awesome stuff. It's not the school. It's the graduates and what they do with it. When you get into the workforce, nobody gives a rat's ass what school you went to if you suck at your job. If you suck, you can suck with a Harvard degree. You can suck with a Stanford degree. You can be killer with a UC freaking degree or whatever. When you get into the workforce, schools, they're from all over the place. They're, you know, you got Harvard working next to UC San Diego, working next to Chico, working next to Irvine, working next to San Diego State. Like everybody's mixed together because you put the awesome together. Sucky goes away, awesome goes together. It doesn't matter what the degree is. Nobody cares. Maybe that first job is a little, a little easier to get if you went to Yale. But if you suck at your job, guess what? Bye-bye, Yale. See ya. You suck. So keep that in mind. And the earlier you can kick ass, the better. Why are you waiting for your high school graduation? Why are you waiting for your college graduation? Why are you waiting for your graduate school graduation? Start right now. You want to be successful in school? Act as if you didn't go to school. Spend your nights researching and studying. Keep in mind, you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life. If you're sitting there going, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life, it's probably not the right profession to be looking into. That would be that would be hint number one that you're looking into the wrong thing. So find the wrong, find the right thing. Find the thing that, that you go, I want to learn about this. I want to learn more. These people are, are fascinating that, that, I'm, that I'm meeting with. These, this information is, is great. I can't wait to start. I can't wait to get older and get the degree so I can do this myself. If you're not having those conversations with yourself, you're probably not in the right profession. And guess what? It's a hell of a lot better to know that now than know that the day after graduation. When you've been, oh, I'm going to be this or I'm going to be that. And what happens? I was going to be a lawyer. I went to law school for a year. I started working at a law firm and I went, you know what? This is really not what I want to be doing. And then I stopped doing it. Could I have known that a lot earlier? Hell yes, I could have known that a lot earlier. Would it have been better? Hell yes. There's nothing like dropping, you know, $15,000 on a year of law school that you're not using. But Hey, you live, you learn. That's why I'm here. That's why we do this. So you can learn. Start now. Whether you're 10, 14, 17, whatever. Whatever you want to do, get out there and start doing it now. So then when you graduate, you can kick ass right away. You don't have to be one of those people that moves freaking back home, take a year off to figure it out. But you have it figured out. Get the job that you earned by getting that piece of paper that says you can get the job. The key to success is to act like you never went to school and then figure out what you would do to do that job that you want to do without that formal education. Because school is learning, but education is knowledge. Act as if school never happened because the real learning no matter what level you get to, comes outside of school. The sooner you start that, the more successful you'll be. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good weekend. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go ahead, go, go.